walk to you from that ridge. We knew from past experience, from local knowledge, um, and from the analytical products that we have available to us today, we knew there was going to be some pretty difficult um, strategic options and no real easy way to, to get a line around this fire. There is no easy way to contain the Cedar Creek fire in large part because of where it's been burning. A very deep, steep canyon uh, with fire that started above that is, has worked its way over the edge. And a picture's worth a thousand words, but when you look at that, it's just physically not possible to put firefighters on portions of this fire from a safety aspect. To minimize the acceptable risks to the lives and limbs of firefighters and the public, and to give firefighters the best chance of success, the fire team developed and is implementing a strategic operations plan. Strategic planning is a tool that we use as an incident management team to help uh, identify our priorities on this fire. We have uh, high resource values, high recreational use, uh, high aesthetic value out there, and we want to make sure we maintain that. And then finally, probably the most important uh, value at risk here is Oak Ridge and High Prairie, and how do we keep fire out of there? Often, the quickest way to protect communities and other values during a wildfire is to stop the fire right at the active edge. This is not a fire that we can get just right up on the edge of. It's uh, rather remote. Um, there are a lot of locations uh, that uh, lend themselves well to establishing control line. So we have to look further out. Further out, in this case, are the forest roads to the south, west, and north of the fire. We're looking at places where we'd be highly successful with the fire, have a high probability of success with a minimal amount of risk to firefighters. So with that in mind, um, we started to look at, uh, continue to focus on some of these indirect options. Basically road systems and ridges where we have the most uh, likelihood of success uh, to stop the fire. And so what we do is we identify where the location of a control line that's, that's really the, the, the best location, in this case it's down in the bottom of Black Creek on the 2421, and we start removing that unburned fuel between the fire's edge and our control line. The second step is to carefully burn the unburned vegetation between the road and the advancing wildfire, a process that is now underway using a helicopter, a drone, and by hand. So this is a model called Suppression Difficulty Index. And what it does is it classifies the landscape on how difficult it would be to suppress fire. There are no guarantees with large wildfires, and the plan may need modifying as the weather or other conditions change. But it is a good faith effort using the best fire science and years of firefighter knowledge and experience to protect the land we all care for, the communities we live in, and the lives of the people doing the work. You know, this may be a long, a long drawn out incident. So the strategic plan helps lay out a framework, a uh, strategic framework there to where, you know, everybody's working on the same sheet of music, everybody's striving to meet the same objectives, and there's not a lot of changes that go on uh, that, are, that are not needed. It's all about using, taking the right action uh, at the right place, uh, at the right time, and for the right reasons.